What's going on guys? Hexa here with another episode of Skull the Hero Slayer. And I actually want to say something at the start of this episode. Um, so I've been getting a lot more subscribers lately, like to a point to where it's almost kind of unbelievable. I'm already almost to 300 subscribers. Uh, if I keep up the pace I'm going now, I'm going to reach it soon, which is just insane because I literally was just uh, celebrating my 200 subscriber uh a milestone like a week and a half ago so thank you guys so much that's just insane but it also serves a problem for me because uh, i said i have a 200 subscriber special video that i thought i would have a lot of time to work on but like we're we're almost reaching 300 so um the the tips video is still being worked on uh, i'm working on it pretty much in all of my free time i have um but the problem is is i'm not even close to done with it because uh, I'm I'm just it's a lot of work so um, I don't know when it's going to be out but I think we're gonna have it out before we reach um, 300 subscribers like we're not gonna have it out is what I mean by the time we reach 300 subscribers which I really am sorry for um, but like I hope it's I hope you guys like it <laughs> because like I said I'm putting a lot of work into it and um, uh, I hope it's worth the wait for you guys um but i promise i'm not leaving you out to dry i'm going to do it uh i swear to god it's it's being worked on just uh be patient with me um and we'll just make it whatever so we'll make it whatever milestone we're at when when i'm ready to release it okay um aside from that though i want to actually talk about the video we're about to do i ha actually have the notepad file open for all of the um the run requests i have and i'm looking at it right now you can't see it but i am at least i hope you can't see it but um that is currently uh, the plan for this episode. I really want to get some of these run requests done because I'm far behind and I don't want to leave you guys hanging as far as that's concerned because I really do appreciate the run requests. So for this episode, uh, unless I get offered like uh, a natural legendary, especially Davy Jones, um, I'm going to do a run request that I have here. Uh, so that's good. That's the plan. Um, so obviously with Skull the Hero Slayer, it, the RNG, anything can happen in terms of that. Uh, also, holy shit, we need to hurry. We really need to hurry or else this is going to be the most expensive rare of all time. Okay, um, let me... <laughs> Why did I have to get these two skulls? I don't even know if I'm going to be able to afford this. I mean, I can sell an item, but let's see if we... Ha was this a money room? I can't remember. No, it was not. Alchemist. Do we have an alchemist request? Let me look. We... Don't. But I think I'll take the alchemist over this at the very least. Uh... If all else fails, this could end up being a uh, uh, another mage run, which he's new. I think everyone's... Oh. <laughs> um, is this what's going to happen on this run? Uh, I don't know. I, I do want to do some run requests, obviously, but this is kind of shoving me in a certain direction here. And, you know... Uh, I'm still gonna keep my mind open though. I'm not. I'm not settling down on anything just yet. I do, like I said, I want to do these run requests. Uh, I ask for them for a reason, uh, not just just ignore them. So let's see how this keeps going. Um, I'm not settled on anything just yet, but this is obviously a sign that um, perhaps an arson run is in order. <laughs> but uh, you know, I'm I'm not gonna settle on that just yet. Though it is pretty exciting, I, I have been wanting to do a lot of more alchemist testing because um, he, he did get a lot of changes in 1.6 especially, uh, and I'm very curious if he's good now. Um, I have suspicions that he actually is good, I have suspicions that the flasks are good. Uh, we'll see though, you know, we'll see. I don't think I've even done a, a, an arson flask run off screen, so... Let's see what we can get offered in here, but I'm actually, I don't know, the more I think about this, the more I kind of want to do it. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Um, okay, so let's look, see if we can find a spirit here. A little greedy of me, actually. I should just sell on one of these items. We can buy... Actually, let's just save our money. Oh, no, 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 Facebook, Facebook. Facebook is good. Everyone likes Facebook. It's always nice having him on the journey, you know? He's, he's just a little guy. You can't hate little guys, okay? It's just... What, there would be something wrong with you if you hated little guys. Like, watch this. Look how little he's being. Like, what's the hate? One thing we definitely need to do is, uh, if we're going to uh, settle on this mage, we need to upgrade it soon because um, 
we need to get a different ability. I'm slowly but surely kind of coming to the conclusion that the, the fire arrow ability is his worst ability. I don't know, just like with all of the offline playing I've done with him. It's good for rooms, but also it's like, you don't need it for rooms. There's other abilities that also deal with rooms. I think low-key I am going to upgrade this mage here. Just to, or, yeah, just to see, you know. Um, I, I'm, I'm not settled on this just yet, but it is pretty exciting. Like, can you deny that this is exciting? This is our first, we're, this is where we're at after the first few rooms, you know. Sometimes the game just gives you a sign, and it's like, bro, you gotta do this arson run, dog. You got to do it. And, you know, hey, what am I supposed to do? Like, what do you want from me, huh? Like, I gotta do what I gotta do. Uh, one thing we definitely need to do, also, I should not have taken this item room. This was just explicitly a mistake. This was not a good decision on my part. Item rooms early on, is like, <laughs> I think uh, yesterday's video kind of really showed why I don't like item rooms. But especially early on, item rooms are dog shit. Like, just dog shit. Alright, give me something good, please. That is good. I'll take it. Uh, what is that, anyway? Plus, it starts at 10 or... I think it's 10, so that is plus 15, I think. I'm pretty sure. Not bad at all, really. That's pretty good, so... Uh, crit buff from the, uh, from the, uh, Spokesman of the Mist. Normally, I would say it's, like, on the lower end of rolls, but... It's, you know, we'll take it. It's not bad. It's better than uh, getting physical damage on the run we're on so far, at least. If it, I was actually thinking if it turns out to be a physical buff, I might um, truly start trying to uh, maneuver away from this. But I think I'm going to stay the course for now. Just, you know, like, like I said, the game is kind of like not even subtly pushing me in a direction. It's like, fucking go this direction now. So... I was, I'm very tempted to take the succubus, but I think it, I'm more, I'm better off saving my money. And by the way, if I don't do a run request this episode, I will, um, <laughs> uh, literally the only thing that will stop me from doing a run request in the next episode is, uh, Davy Jones. Literally only Davy Jones. I promise. I promise. Like, but like, I always like to say this and it, it's still true. Even when at the start of the episode, I give my little spiel where I'm like, we're doing X or Y. The RNG of Skull always takes you whatever direction it wants to. You can't do really do anything about it. It is a roguelite. And like, you know, we're all, we're all roguelite fans, I imagine, here. So, like, you guys have to appreciate this aspect of Skull if you play Skull at all. So, you know, that's just how it is. Uh, what did I get? Okay, we'll take it, but it's certainly not... For, it's not good on this build, but it's not horrible on this build. Um, if my collaboration video with Earl on his channel, which if you haven't seen that, you should go watch it. Uh, Earl is a fellow Skull YouTuber. I did, uh, I think, I, I hope I, uh, I announced that I did a collaboration with him over there. I'm pretty sure I did, but um, he, I, I challenged him to do a uh, basic attack mage, and he built like this ridiculous, insane, like, um, uh, like physical basic attack mage speed run. <laughs> it, was, it was so ridiculous. Like, I, it was not at all what I had in mind when I suggested it, but it was funny that he took it that direction. I do plan on doing more collaborations with him in the future, by the way. So I hope you enjoyed it because there's more to come. Um, it's good fun. So I, I really want more of that in the school community. I want, I want to like, like obviously I can't control this, but I, I want like, like, to, there to be like more school YouTubers, and I want the the community to feel more whole. Um. Hmm. I didn't even look. I was trying to avoid this. This is actually pretty decent, but I think I want the Lunar Ring. Hmm. I wonder if I want the Lunar Ring. Hmm. I don't know. It's pretty bad. Uh, let's take an item room. I feel like we're getting a lot of money so far in this run for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know what I've done differently, but I feel rich. This is, a uh, so far... Uh, the build is interesting. I don't know if it's good, but it's interesting. This is interesting. Um, the blast coming out of this, uh, the, the end of my staff here, that's pretty funny. Uh, not at all what I was like. I, I, I wasn't even thinking about how that item would interact with a maid or a alchemist. I'm pretty sure uh, alchemist can't be affected by attack speed. I'm almost certain of that, actually. So it's like weird that this item even... Like, it, it just, like, it, it seems weird on, uh, 
on Alchemist in particular, because it's supposed to also uh, up your attack speed. Also, I would love it if I if the shop wasn't here. It's looking like the shop's going to be there. I'm still going to break this just in case, though. Um, I'll, I'll, I don't like leaving shrines behind. Okay, it is here. That's really unfortunate. Uh, I need spirits, if the game wouldn't mind to throw some spirits my way. That is not a spirit. And I could actually afford to refresh one more time. And it was a waste. I could technically buy the Prayer of Grace. Actually, I should buy the Prayer of Grace. Get rid of this. It was a meme anyway. Uh, this is better because it helps my concentration speed, which is very important on this skull. I'm really looking for trainee necklace. Also, there is a Dark Paladin here, which is low-key tempting, but... I think we're going to stay the course where we are right now. Uh, arson build. Um, it's an interesting way to uh, test uh, further a skull I'm very actually interested in before. I always make fun of Alchemist whenever I play it. I'm like, all one of the Alchemist fans are going to be popping off in this video. But, uh, you know, he, he's kind of growing on me now that he's... Uh, <laughs> like, they, they unnerfed him a little bit from 1.5. Uh, good lord in 1.5. They overcorrected so hard for statuses they the devs are so scared of statuses it's insane like even still that you can tell they're scared of statuses which for good reason like they can really uh lead to kind of cr oh I, for a second i thought that that was the slime for some reason but uh if you're not careful with statuses they can lead to some crazy outcomes mm. I keep being offered skulls that make me want to pivot, but I, I'm, I think I want to stay the course here. I just, I want to see how, uh, how this flask works. Um, oh, and now that I'm thinking about it, I actually did play uh, uh, a Flame Flax Alchemist run off screen, and it was pretty good actually. I, I remember now, I, I did play one. I forgot for some reason, but now I'm remembering that I actually did. But uh, I still want to put one on the channel just to show people. Uh, the Alchemist isn't quite as bad as it was. I'm not saying it's a top tier skull or anything. It still has fundamental issues. Both of these skulls has uh, fundamental issues. And they actually share fundamental issues. Uh, they have a lot of overlap. Once they're spent, they are spent. And they suck after they're spent. Like, um, it, once you like fully use up the burst on these skulls, they are like very incapable of actually dealing damage. That's like the biggest flaw with, uh, with both of these skulls. But... They're both still usable skulls. I would say st I was very harsh on Sage at first. And I guess actually now that I'm in the Sage video, uh, the second Sage video, I can just say this. I definitely was harsh on Sa uh, Sage. Uh, I said it can't do damage. That was just patently false. It It's very capable of dealing pretty good damage, actually. Uh, excuse me, I had to drink some water. Um... Also, that is like the worst thing about Alchemist still to this day <laughs> is that it swaps you off of the, um, swaps you. Oh, we got the meteors. Sweet. It swaps you off of the, uh, it swaps your, your flask off, off of the first skill key. And that shit is annoying, bro. Um, like straight up. Cause like, I'm always used to it being there. And whenever it's not there, it throws me off so hard. Also shit. Actually, I just remembered in the last Alchemist video we recorded, which was actually very recent. Uh, we fucked over the alchemist pretty hard. We didn't upgrade him in the uh, in the um, the final half of the game. So I guess this is also a a sorry letter to alchemist because he he got fucked over by me. You know, it was an accident. Uh, I knew that would happen to me eventually in a video, but um, you know, when it happened, it sucked really really badly. So. We'll make it up to him also. Oh, shit. Perfect, actually. Is this Arson 4? It is Arson 4. Holy shit. Is this the Arson I want, though? Uh, yeah, actually. I think it's decent Arson. There's a lot of Arson effects. Like, this one, honestly, is not that good. But it's okay. Um, We definitely want... What do I get rid of now, actually? This is a bit of a difficult situation. I think it has to be this, which is, like I said, not good because we're kind of relying on um, on our concentration speed. We need that one item, the trainee necklace, but now we're moving into Act 3. It's going to be a lot harder to find it, so not good. Uh, oh, I think... Oh, no, yeah, we have Arson 4 now. Low-key, I would love to get um, uh, Living Embers here. <laughs> well, I mean, obviously, I would like to get it, but... um. 
That shit would slap so hard. I haven't gone in a vi uh, arson video yet, so I want to see that shit happen. Um, God, stop giving me comments, please. We're going to be behind if it keeps that rate up. And I don't want to be behind. I hate being behind Skull Shards in videos. It's like the worst feeling. Because it happened in the uh, Alchemist video. We literally just barely got our Alchemist to... Or got enough Shards to get our Alchemist to Legendary. And I still, still fucking forgot to upgrade him. I, it's so fucked up, man. Thinking about it, it's just like, ugh. That was still a great run, though. But, like, just fucking over the Alchemist like that. As much as... Like, I owe him, too, because I make fun of him all the time. So, it's like... You know? Like, I fucked up big time. Thankfully, we didn't min roll our rooms here, so we... Ooh. Aw, oh, man, if only we had kept the fucking Prayer of Grace here. We would actually have mana cycle. Um, I don't think I can slot this in. I don't have room. <clears throat> it would give me heirloom, but, like, everything we have right now is just so, like... Like, whenever you do a fairy tale run, it really limits your options of, uh... Of things you can do, you know, like it, it limits your uh, the items that you can pivot from because it, it's also centralized around um, it's also centralized around your uh, your like fairy tale items. But uh, it's not a big deal or anything. Like uh, fairy tale is still a really good way to build a run, but just a little uh, it makes it uh, building other things a little awkward like going arson 4 on this is probably not the best idea I might stop at arson 2 if I can get like living embers we'll see what happens with our arson uh, I can get rid of some of the arson stuff if uh, my damage is a little low by the end arson is really good in rooms but against bosses it doesn't do much so you always have to keep that in mind oh fuck no I missed I missed with the face bug bro that's like so fucked up you should never do that to your face bug. He's your friend. He's there to help. Oh my god, I did it twice in a row. Oh god, I'm such a bad face bug owner. We gotta fix this. Uh, we'll just kill the Liana sister to make up for it. I think that will make the face bug happy. We'll get it on this one for sure, though. I'm just gonna stand literally right on top of her. Like this. Swap. And, uh... Oh yeah, the, uh... I was wondering how we got stunned, but I remember now that the, um... The little things that come out whenever you um, whenever you swap with Alchemist just send like random statuses everywhere. That shit's pretty cool. Uh, we're kind of low-key killing. <laughs> we're, we're destroying the Alana sisters here. Not that our damage being high at this point means anything. Because like obviously it's Act 2. But you know it's not a bad sign. Where are we at right now is the question. Oh my god. Wait what? How? Where's that coming from? Um, did they add damage to this? Huh. That has to be... Oh, maybe it's this? It has to be coming from this, maybe? Let me see. We still at 385. That's weird. I don't know what's going on in there. You gotta be joking. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, what a great chest. Um, The ring? I mean, it is the ring. I just don't know what to get rid of for it. <clears throat> None of this other stuff is worth it, so gotta be the ring. And I could get rid of this. Hmm. We don't even have tactics. Where's all this damage coming from? I'm so confused. Um. I mean, it's even higher now, so <laughs> I don't even know if we can like afford to hold on to the ring for the entire run. Is the thing like? We're gonna it's gonna be a very tight build if we're gonna do like full arson full uh for full fairy tale have i been passing up fairies by the way i there's no shot right i i tend to have this issue on fairy tale runs if i've passed up any fairies i apologize it's just like habit because i very rarely do fairy tale runs but if i have passed up a fairy uh i will uh make it up we'll we'll like I, now i'm very aware of the possibility that i could have been passing them up so it won't happen again but um I don't know. I don't think I did, though, because I have been thinking about my fairy tale aspects of this run a lot, but it is possible that I did. It's just like, like I said, force of habit. It happens. Uh, just if if it happened, I apologize. <clears throat> We're going to have a really strong Act 3 Part 1 shop, so. Oh, oh shit, we min rolled so hard. Oh, no. 
Okay, who's this NPC is the question. If it's the slime, I'm living large. Uh, that's still a good one, though. That's a good one. No, a useless NPC. There's really no useless NPCs we could get right now, actually. Uh, all of them can offer me something in one way or another. Okay, that is the second time we've seen Paladin. Uh, I, I am overdue for a Paladin run. It's my third favorite skull in the game, but uh, this ain't the run for it, unfortunately. We are too busy doing other things. Also, what is this lag coming from? Okay, well, I mean, low-key, I have to take this. <laughs> it's a rule. We can get rid of this. We're not doing... Oh, yeah, we are doing crit stuff. We got spokesmen. Shit, what do I do? Let's just keep going in the shop and see what happens. Okay, that's the end of the shop. Yeah, we can't refresh again. So, what do I do here? Um, hmm. Oh, no. This gives skill cooldown, right? Yeah, it does. Hmm. Uh, is this better than that? I don't think so. Oh, shit. It's showing me the 11th. Oh, shit. What do I do about my... Oh, there it is. Okay. 55% versus 50%, but the skill cooldown. I think I'll just take that. Like, it's I'm missing 5% damage, whereas that's conditional, and this is constant. So, <clears throat> it makes sense to, to take that over, take this over that. But it does hurt, because, like I said, the, the crit percent I got from the uh, Spokesman of the Mist is kind of not going to full use anymore. But, you know, we'll be okay. The, what we got is just better, so it just makes sense. But we still, we still need trainee necklace. If I see trainee necklace, I'm taking it. And I will get rid of the lunar ring for that. Like, I don't tempt me. I will. Uh, it's just on this skull in particular, not this one, the um, the the mage. Uh, trainee necklace is, like, insane. Because it multiplies your concentration speed. And that is, like, so insanely important. On, uh, on... Because, like, constant, uh, your, your meditation is so fucking slow and bad. <clears throat> that was my first like reasoning for like not liking the uh, the mage at first as much as I uh, complained about it in the video I still stand by it needing some buffs especially in the department like in in the in the gameplay flow department especially so mage needs some work but it's not nearly as bad as I thought it was in my first video with it I've played a lot with it off screen and I do enjoy it now <laughs> it's a really fun skull to uh to kill bosses with for sure. Uh, Alchemist is still pending. Like I said, uh, a lot, a big part of this run is seeing how strong we can uh, make our Alchemist, which so far so good. I'm really enjoying this, and it feels strong. But obviously, in Act Three, you can't determine too much about it. Right? And also, I have to see it's bossing too because uh, Arson is good at rooms. You'll feel really strong in your rooms, but then you get to a boss and you just feel horrible. It just feels so weak. And this is also, this is why I, I I have issues with Mage, by the way. That right there. You have to do a lot of that. And without training Necklace, it can take a long, long time. Also, I, God, this guy loves spamming those these days. Did they change his AI to be, like, more annoying? I'm so confused. I feel like it wasn't always like that. And now he just won't fucking stop. And we really destroyed those adventurers, which is a good sign. But it's still not the true test we're looking for. I would love to take that, but I just... There's no room on this build. We, we're re actually pretty far behind in our skull shards. We keep uh, we keep finding fucking commons and shit. It's like, bro, we're this late in the game. Commons should be not a thing anymore. That's how it normally is on Skull the Hero Slayer runs. But if you if you want to see... If you don't want to see commons, they're everywhere. That's just, you know, the nature of RNG. Like I always say, don't manifest your desires into, like audio form like if you say out loud what you want you're just gonna get fucked over and the game's gonna like purposefully not give you what you want it's a little microchip in your computer i'm joking by the way <laughs> just in case it wasn't obvious i don't know some people might take it seriously but nope it's all jokes we like to joke here you know we like to have fun on this channel oh shit Oh, man. Oh, no. And it's the explosive ones, too. Ugh. Don't hurt me. Please. I didn't do anything wrong. What did I do to deserve that? 
is the question. And there's no answer. The answer is I didn't. Oh, there it is. Okay, well, see you, Lunar Ring. <laughs> bye bye. I kind of low key want this too. But the and the question is, what would I even get rid of? And the answer is, I don't fucking know. This would be funny. That'd be pretty funny. But uh, I don't think so. I need spirits. Where the fuck are they? Oh my god, I'm getting fucked. I really don't want to leave this on the ground. Uh, what do I do? I don't want to leave it here. Hmm. Ah, fuck it. You don't need Arson 4 on a mage build, for the record, you don't. It's just like, I want it. <laughs> so, uh, like, the smart move would be to ditch some of the Arson, but I... If I'm not going to get uh, Living Embers, I want to keep this Arson 4. And if I get Living Embers, that's just going to further incentivize me to keep Arson 4, because then it'd be like a sick, like, clickbait. Bro! Living Embers and Arson 4! Oh my god! So, like, yo, a bunch of emojis next to it. It, like... That's how where I do the face reveal, and it's just like my face screaming in the thumbnail. <laughs> I hate those thumbnails, by the way. Uh, why do people? Why? Why does that shit work, man? Who is that? Who is that for? Like that shit don't work on me. If I see that shit, I'm like, no, I don't want to watch that. That's like negative incentivization for me personally. I don't know about you guys. If it's if you like it, you know, hey, you know, live your live your truth. But just, I don't get it personally. Um. Man, so I've I've also been offered or like like someone suggested I do a basic attack alchemist run, which also is like on the agenda. Like I have a lot of alchemist uh, testing I want to do, but um, like I, I can't stretch my strategies too thin on this episode, and I don't see a, a place on this run for um for mana gauntlet, especially because mages uh, basic attacks are so dog shit. Like I just kind of want to avoid using them if I can. What I'm really curious to see is how quickly we're going to kill this Chimera. Who is not here yet. If I can get a unique, we'll be like somewhat on track here for our Bone Shards. Okay, I was also hoping that maybe that was the Harpy, but nope. So it's all down to if I can get a unique here, if we're on track or not. If I don't get a unique, we will enter Act 4 with, um, with our... Uh, let's, I wanted to swap with Mage. Let's, let's try and get a new ability here with our Mage. That's the opposite of what I want. There we go. That's much better, actually. This is perfect. This is exactly what I want. Now we have the explosion and the meteors, which is the two abilities I'm the most curious about. Also, we did get a unique. Thank you, game. Uh, first of all, I'm, I'm going to upgrade my mage first. I Yeah, I, I have to get sage mode or uh, awakened mode. I always want to call it sage mode, but it's, but it's awakened mode. Sage mode is just like Naruto brain leaping uh leaking through into my videos um let's face bug this bit and wait oh my god it, oh i wasted my face bug no okay let's uh, do that and then use the buffs we got from that on this place our guy down i want to swap please thank you the real problem with meteor before um before legendary and really like outside of the context of uh awakened mode is uh it costs so much to use but uh it's really powerful and the buffs it gives you are undeniably good i'm just curious if like what the best way to attack bosses in awakened mode is is it um explosions or is it meteors or is it the fireball oh shit oh no dude oh no uh we are now on a giga run uh, this is a very... Uh, have I gotten this in a video? I don't think I have. Uh, if you can get the Shadow Spirit and the Light Spirit Lou together, some crazy shit happens. Look at these two. Dark Spirit Shade and Light Spirit Lou. Um, I did not want to get rid of the, that for this, though. Um, This is a really hard decision here. I think I have to get rid of this. Is that the right decision, though? Uh, I don't know. This is giving me cooldown speed too. It's giving me more cooldown speed than this, but it's like trading the 10% on cooldown versus the 10% on the attack. And personally, I think the ring is better for this run. Because 10% um, is not that much, but it does put me at over 500. 
It's it's a it's a question between these two. This also has oh the the inscriptions have to make this better, right? Yeah. Oh my god, am I about to ditch the ring? I I don't think I can do it mentally. I don't think I have it in me. Oh. We will still have tactics if I do this. I'm doing it. I can't ditch this. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Oh, I can't do it. When the time comes, I will get rid of training necklace before the ring, dude. I will do that. That's how uh, much I love the meme of the ring in every video. It's just, you know, I. what am I supposed to do? What do you want from me? Like, you guys, you know, what do you... I, I, if you... You know, I've spoken my piece. I've spoken my piece. What do you want from me is the question. The answer is uh, the ring in every video. And if that's not the answer, uh, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, we're moving on. Uh, we are going to absolutely destroy everything now, by the way. Now that we got these two spirits. The the dark spirit shade is, like, just ridiculously strong. Like, it's 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 kind of low-key, like, just, like, like it, it kind of, like, you don't even need Oberon to make a, a, a run like this work. If you get light spirit uh Lou and dark spirit shade together uh because they they just do so much but also it, it's really like um dark spirit shade is like on another level in my opinion light spirit Lou is good but dark spirit shade just tears shit to pieces i can't uh once i get around to the lore video i can't wait to talk about the uh the spirits and the rings because there's a lot of really interesting stuff that i won't get into now because i want it to be a surprise in that video but there's a lot of uh, stuff that... Okay, I, I said I wasn't going to get into it. If you want to read it, do it yourself. But if you want it to be a surprise once the uh, once the uh, that video comes out eventually TM, then just hold off and wait for that because uh, it's really cool stuff. There is actually s shockingly deep lore in this game that goes like way deeper than the devs had to do. Um, I'm probably going to take that troll. Okay, well, now we have... Uh, Oberon, <laughs> which I did say I would get rid of Trainee Necklace. <laughs> fuck off, Trainee Necklace. I don't give a fuck. Wait, yeah, I do. I kind of do, don't I? Because now I lost all of my damage. Uh, uh, um, I think I have to say goodbye to this. Say goodbye to Arson and that. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Fuck it. There we go. Arson 4 is gone. The only way I'm getting Arson 4 back is if I get um, Living Embers. That's the only way because uh, it's gonna take. You're gonna have to pry this this ring from my cold dead hands. Just uh, FYI, that's uh, that's how it that's how it's gonna be in this video. I desperately want to keep that. Oh yeah, that, for some reason I thought this was still the unique form of uh, of uh, the fireballs. I hate this map, by the way. I, I think I say this every time I'm in it, but uh, you know I can't say it enough, so I'll just say it again. This map fucking sucks. The devs should uh, never make maps like this again where you're, like, on a timer. It's like auto-scrolling shit, you know? I do not like that. I am a speedrunner, okay? At least at heart. I haven't speedrun in a while. But I still enjoy speedrunning, so... Oh, shit. What can we get here? Let's just f go into it like this. Uh, just kind of face plant into this. Because I don't know what I want to get duped here. Oh, well, that's certainly a thing I could get duped. I'll get rid of the eye spirit. I don't want it. Now we have two less spirit lose. <laughs> oh no. This is getting out of control already. Um, these things are going to be destroying everything in their path. And they're even... They're not synced, I don't think. Though eventually I think they will sync up. But them being not synced is actually kind of a good thing for me. God, this is like a ridiculous run. After the last run... Uh, we needed a bit of a palette or uh, was that the last one? I can't remember. Okay. No, this was two videos ago I'm talking about the common video uh, We got our palette cleanser last time, but I'm still not over it. So this is also another palette cleanser when it comes to uh, stupid uh, Stupid runs that are just like ridiculously powerful um, Though I do plan on doing another challenge run soon. I think I might actually soon attempt the uh, get the uh, the Elderance Gratitude to the end of the game challenge, which is a, a thing I didn't think I would ever be able to do, but the more I, uh, I like, sh re recognize that I'm capable of doing these, like, insane runs, like the common run, I think with the right strategy, I can actually do the, uh, the, um, the Get Elderance Gratitude to the end of the, uh, game video. I have some ideas for it. 
and I want to try them. I want. I really want to see if I can do it. Like, I just want to test myself in this game. Like, that would be the ultimate challenge. I can't think of a harder thing to do in this game than that. So, if I can manage that, like, I've won Skull, <laughs> in my mind at least. Uh, there's, like, nowhere else to go from there. I'll still play it, though, of course, but, like, that's, like, you know... I can't imagine a harder challenge than that, because it's basically hitless. Like, you only get 40 HP the entire game you can lose. So, it won't be easy. And like I said, uh, I don't know, actually, I don't know if I've said this in a video, but, um, the, um, oh shit, we got the thief too. The, uh, the shield from the Eldrin's Gratitude is always at the front of your shield, no matter what, like, like, you would think maybe it would make sense if they, like, allowed the shield to get, like, pushed backwards a little bit, so it's not quite as vulnerable, but nope. They didn't want that. They did not want that for you. They were like, El that would make Eldrin's Gratitude too good, bro. We can't have that. Then, like, it would be broken. So, they made it to where it's always at the front, and there's no way to protect your valuable shield versus your unvaluable shield. Honestly, if they made it to where shield was, like could be pushed back like that. I think it would raise the value of Eldrin's Gratitude a bit. Fundamentally, they need to change the way that item works. But um, even if they just did that, it would be like decent. Also, I just realized I haven't used, um, I've used Awaken mode yet. Let's use it now. Actually, why did I do it here? We can actually just leave, I think, because we got through here quickly enough. Oh, never mind. Oh, well that f kind of fucked things up, huh? Yeah, If we if that guy had died, in a timely manner we could have done that but i did not realize he was alive honestly we're not doing anything at this point it's literally just oberon and the spirits that are killing everything for me and like the golem i don't think i've killed anything in a long time this run's kind of like low-key getting out of control and we even have good damage percent too i don't even think this run would have been better off if i like duped my um my uh elementalist blessing which would have given me giga damage but even then i think the just the value of uh these two spirits popping off all the time as well as the shade as well like it's it's just like you can't really uh overestimate that or underestimate that i should say um this room's annoying, but we should not have any issues with it. Like I said, we're not doing anything at this point. I'm literally, I'm pretty much just walking forward while the uh, the spirits do everything for me. Which I am, you know, I control the rings. Like, it's it's their fault for getting trapped in rings. I mean, what, what am I supposed to do? Not abuse their power? You know, not uh, use them after they got themselves trapped? I mean, I'm not a saint here. Little Bone, honestly, is kind of like... Like, high key, not a good guy. <laughs> he kills his dad. Uh, he destroys a kingdom. Though, I guess, you know, war is war. So, and they did declare war on them, so. But he, he does destroy a kingdom. He, uh, he kills his dad. He, um, it, it, like, he never really shows any emotion. But, it's, you know, you can't really tell what he's thinking. I assume he's not happy that he has to kill his dad. But at the same time, he's, it's like, is that the links he would go to be like a, a, a hero? You know, like that was like his dream when he was alive. So, like he just nothing will stop him on his quest to be a hero, including his own dad. Like, what kind of fucked up shit is that? I'm just looking for living embers, basically. I don't. There's nothing else I really care to get here. Yeah. Though uh, we are kind of getting dangerously close to not getting enough skull shards. I need one more skull room, just one. Unless, of course, I got a common, which is really unlikely to happen. If I, if the fucking uh, alchemist gets fucked over again here, dude, I'm, I'm gonna feel bad for the alchemist guy out there. Like the one guy, he's like, like he, he's pogging right now. He's like enjoying himself. He's like, he's, he's back on the, he's back on the alchemist grind. Alchemist is gonna get his just desserts. He's not gonna get fucked over. And it just happens at the last second again. You know that shit's fucked up. Dude, please don't do this to me. <laughs> Game, please. I'll take this. Over this. Yeah. It might happen, by the way. Uh, this... So, it's either the Harpy... Or this is not the last room. But I actually think this is the last room. I think we got fucked over. Bro. Please don't do this to me, game. Please. I have to do my Alchemist Redemption. That was part of the... Okay, okay, okay. Okay, whoo! 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 That was close. 
Holy shit, dude. It almost happened. It actually, it can still happen, by the way. It can still happen. Nothing about this is guaranteed at all. Let's get in here and see uh, if we got a common. Harpy or... Oh, shit, actually. Whoo, this is probably the last room before the first hero, or uh, John. I'm going to do it. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to leave. <laughs> uh, I'll take my living embers, please. It happened in the Glacier Breaker video. It can happen again. Um, okay, well, that is certainly... Oh, wait, actually, is that good? Oh, no. Do I want this? I have troll. What? Oh, mm, I don't know. Like, I would have to get rid of the ring for it, right? We, oh, we have mutant now, actually. No, no, no. No. I thought about it for a second, but let's not. Let's not. Okay, no common, please. Okay, that is not a common, so we're good. We're good. Last room, we got enough skull shards. Though, once again, the alchemist, like, even in the last video, if I had upgraded it, it would have only been in the Act 5 where it gets to uh, be a legendary. So, once again, the alchemist, not even until the end of the game. But he'll join us in, yo, legendary status this time. Alrighty. Joan is going to get, um, well, <laughs> I, I don't think I have to say anything about it. Like, She's going to get obliterated. There's nothing she can do, basically. Um, I'm, oh, shit. Well, if our Oberon and our Light Spirits pop off before she starts, that could change things a little bit. But even then... Oh, laggy. Hopefully that lag doesn't persist. I'm uh, I'm not in the mood for some lag, you know? Uh, even with that, we're still destroying her. I have to make sure my... Um, my... Uh, my sage mode or <laughs> i keep calling it that my awaken mode can be um be used once the phase two of the fight starts though that's always like the first like like test of damage really is like joan phase two it's just a big part of a run uh let's swap out here and start um uh getting our mana here i'm going to go ham against this by the way And she can't move, so I think she's fucked. Oh, she's so done. Oh, shit. She's fucked, dude. She ran. She ran. She's a wuss. Okay, she's immune here. We'll kill her with Alchemist. That was really good. But what a great showing from the mage. The fireballs, too. That's a, a, a point in favor of the fireball. Although, Joan can't move, so it. I do see the arguments for why uh, fireball is not as good. But, I don't know. I'm a fan. I think I'm actually going to pivot from Arson 3 here. I think I'll get rid of this in favor of this. Yeah. Oh, and it gives me Tactics 4? Oh my god. Okay, say less. Say less. I'm all for that. I'm not going to forget, by the way. I'm remembering. I'm talking about it actively. There we go. We did it. We did it this time. <laughs> gotta hand it to me. I gotta hand it to myself. I remembered. I remembered. You know, I think what happened to me has happened to everyone at, at least like multiple times, actually. Not even at least once. That has surely to God happened to, to regular Skull the Hero Slayer players multiple times. It's a very easy thing to happen. Uh, sometimes you just forget, you know? And it's no big deal. And we remembered this time, so we redeemed ourselves. I gave myself a round of applause, a very well earned round of applause, I will say. What is this food item? Can't take it to the first hero, so I'm just going to go ahead and refresh. Uh, we did not see Living Embers, which is fine. This is our kit. I'm going to mash the fucking screenshot button just like fucking crazy. I don't have time for this, okay? Computer? Oh, shit. I th <laughs> that was not a good idea. <laughs> Even with all that mashing, it only took two screenshots, by the way. That's how bad my laptop is when I'm recording videos. It does not enjoy this. If... Our light spirits weren't synced before. They certainly are now. Not that that matters. It's not a big deal. I actually could have purposefully... Uh, actually, that might have been smart. Though, I think against the first hero, then being synced is better. So, you know, I think we're actually doing just fine here. Let's go ahead and use our arson flask here a little bit. We upgraded our uh, alchemist for a reason. Not to just sit there and do nothing. And he's uh, he's doing he's doing a good job. So, you know, give it up for our little alchemist friend. He's here for the ride, but this is certainly the sages around for sure. Uh, actually, maybe not true. Uh, like I said, I am testing Alchemist here, so it's also the Alchemist run. Uh, I think I'm going to stay in his Sage here. 
just actually no i'll swap out first and then i'll use some of my abilities as uh okay let's actually keep this bar here uh, i'm just gonna go on in here we're gonna destroy the first hero for the record <laughs> all righty uh he's gonna get obliterated i mean obviously that's that's a given but um how obliterated is he gonna get is the real question here and uh the answer is very much so oh shit actually well, real quick let me fix this real quick there we go uh sage mode meteors and then i'll start spamming this because i think at this point it's better and we still have sage mode going okay this this was out of control <laughs> i did not think it was even going to be that good to be honest with you i i was not expecting that level of destruction but uh this this phase is going to go a lot uh uh you know it's not going to be quite as a, a blowout because we don't have a awaken mode here but um and also both of our skill you know what let's refresh here let's uh take some time to uh build up our uh mana and then swap out here i want to kill him before he's done with this but okay we actually got there we got him before he was done with his uh his at least second attack animation and that still went pretty well, all things considered. And also our Oberon hasn't popped off yet either. So he's probably going to pop off as soon as this starts. Because the cooldowns actually still happen in this cutscene for some reason. I don't know why. I don't think it's like that with any other cutscene in the game. Uh, do we have Awakened Mode? Yes, we do. Oh, but I can't. I, I don't have time to uh, to make it pop off. Oh, he's going to I don't want to lose this life. Okay, we're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. I did not want to lose my life there. Uh, he's super dead. Yep. GG's. I can actually just use my awaken mode in the uh, windscreen here. Maybe I can make some meteors fall with me. Uh, okay. So, sadly, your spirits never end up in the windscreen. I don't know why. Uh, did one make it? No. I should have jumped. What a weak windscreen. Ugh, I'm washed, dude. I'm washed. I'm just... It's gone, dude. The ability to do good windscreens is gone. <laughs> Uh, I used to be a god at it. Every run, I would be popping off. I would be doing excellent windscreens where they were. I was in the wall or I was jumping. Like I pressed the jump button at the right time. But lately, I've just been washed. That time, I didn't really try super hard, though, to be honest with you. Uh, we'll get it in the next one. Uh, GG's. Um, excellent display of arson and sage, though the arson aspect of this run fell off later on as I kept going. I did say by the end I kind of wanted to be arson, too. You do not need to be arson to play mage in fact i would say you're better off without building fully into arson with mage because he spreads uh he spreads uh, arson onto enemies without the need for the inscription so obviously the inscription being maxed out makes it stronger but he's also just like a boss killer so it's like you know the uh, arson is not good against bosses also if you can hear anything in the background i apologize but um um arson against bosses is not useful um and you know, the further you get to the game, the less you need to rely on it. So I think it's always the best option by the end, unless you have like Living Embers to pivot off of Arson. Living Embers and Arson 4 is like excellent together, but otherwise it just becomes kind of mediocre. And we had really good Arson items too. Like uh, Inner Flame is just good. And we had the spirits to uh, make this worth it. Like we had a Elementalist Blessing. Last minute scriptures. I need to stop using this item so much, but it's so fucking good and it's so easy to get now. It's like every run, if you want it, it's there. <laughs> uh, like I've been saying, I think I've said this in a video at least, uh, I really want to see if they ever give uh, uh, Joan a legendary because every other boss has one and she doesn't. It's kind of unfair for her. But either way, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you watched it all the way through, I appreciate you. Glad to see Mage back again on the channel. I'm sure people are still interested to see what he has to offer. Uh, like I said, um, I was really harsh on him in my first video. I've changed my mind a little bit on him. I still think he needs a little work, but I don't think he's like as bad as I was making him out to be in my first video. Uh, it happens. Um, I just needed to experiment with him more to fully grasp what he's capable of. And now I have, and I do like him, so... Good stuff from the mage, good stuff from the alchemist. Overall, a really good run. If you enjoyed it, I appreciate you. If you watch it to the end especially, thank you, thank you. And I'll see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.